Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number seven in my HTML series. And in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about images. Okay, now there are a few different things that we actually need to remember or have to do uh, when adding an image to our website. Now the first thing is to actually have two images. So I've got um, two over here. Uh, so one is my desktop background and the other one uh, is an image that I was using for a little project um, that I made a few days ago. Okay, now I'm going to keep these images in the same folder or the same directory as my index.html file. Okay, so they're all under a folder called tutorial 7, uh, as you can see. And... Um, Basically, this is just going to allow whenever I want to add an image, all I need to know is the image name. Okay, if you guys want to be able to keep your pictures in a different folder, you're going to have to learn about directory paths, which I will talk about in the next tutorial. But for now, please remember just to uh, keep them in the same folder as your index.html file. Okay, so to add an image onto our website, we use the image tag except you don't type the word image okay you type in IMG okay and that means image okay and the image tag is a single tag so we can go ahead and close that off now but there are a few attributes now if you guys watched the previous tutorial you learned about attributes and I told you that attributes are little bits of extra information that some of these HTML tags need to work, okay? Now, I can't just go ahead and put in this image tag on my website because HTML obviously doesn't know what image I want to use. So I have to give it a little bit of extra information to tell it which image to use, okay? So the attribute that we put in uh, to check or to tell HTML which image we want on the website is SRC and that stands for image source okay and we're gonna set that equal to the name of our image okay so because whoops <laughs> okay because uh, my images are in the same folder as my index file all I have to do is type in that image name so I'm gonna go ahead and use the ghost dot ping image uh, and when I save this now and go back to Firefox and click refresh, well, I actually ran it, <laughs> you can see I've got this ghost showing up on the screen. So it's sort of like a Pac-Man ghost, but this was for a project uh, that I did a little while ago. Okay, so now we've got the image on the screen, but to put in just image source as the attribute, is not actually correct, it's not valid, because what happens if HTML can't find this image? So let's say I made a spelling mistake and I put got or whatever, okay? If we go back to Firefox now and click refresh, Firefox couldn't find the image named got, so like nothing shows up on the page, okay? So that's why we've got the second attribute called alt, and what this does is it puts out some writing of whatever image was supposed to be there, okay? So let's just say uh, ghost image over here. And whatever we put inside this alt attribute, whatever we set this alt attribute equal to, that is what will display on the screen if Firefox or Google Chrome couldn't find the image, okay? So there we've got ghost image, okay? so. That, that would only show up if uh, the image can't be found, but it's not valid to put an image on your website with just a source attribute. You have to also use an alt attribute in case the browser couldn't find the image or in case maybe whoever was coming to your website turned images off in their browser or something. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, just correct that. Uh, save it, 
go back to Firefox and as you can see when the image is found um, then we don't get this alt attribute uh, we don't get these words showing up on the page okay so the only reason why they're there is uh, because it's not valid otherwise now the next thing I want to show you guys is two more attributes which uh, are considered good practice uh, to keep in your image tag um, but they can also be used to resize the image on the web page as well so instead of using ghost.ping I'm gonna use this image called ash.jpg okay uh, so let's go ahead and just change this up ash.jpg uh, dot okay uh, and I can change that up not that we need to but the two other attributes that I want to talk to you guys about are called the width uh, and we got to set that equal to uh, whatever the image width is and the height okay and we've got to set that equal to the height so let me just go back and find out how big that was okay so it was 1920 by 1080 pixels so that's quite quite big um, so it's not even going to fit on the entire screen but let's go ahead and save this now click refresh and you can see we've only got the small section of the image showing okay so it's actually this really big image of uh, Ash from League of Legends so as you can see this image is not showing up in the browser correctly it's it's way too big for what I need um, so what I can do is I can use these width and these height attributes uh, to actually change the size of the image so let's say I actually only wanted it to be um, about 900 by 500 pixels or 480 pixels I think we'll do so let's go ahead and save that now go back to Firefox click refresh and as you can see we now have the image uh, almost fitting correctly into the browser okay now even though we have the ability to resize our image uh, down with these attributes it's still recommended to actually make the image the correct size in the first place uh, reason why is because um, let's say people have like a slow internet connection or something if they go to your website they're still gonna have to load that entire image and then resize it uh, so they're still gonna load that huge image and then resize it down to the smaller size uh, to be able to see it okay uh, so it's still going to include uh, or add to the loading time uh, and that's gonna be annoying for some people okay but the main reason why these things are here is to set aside space for the image okay so even if uh, the Firefox or something could not find this image and it had to show this alt attribute ash okay it would still set aside 900 pixels and 480 pixels of space for that image so your website wouldn't look funny when someone came to your website uh, to actually look at it okay so actually nothing would look out of place uh, because of the missing image okay so that's why we have the width and the height attribute so thank you guys for watching that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial uh, don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it is really gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys in the next video